Hello and welcome to this new Animal Wise video, where today we are talking about one of the most popular Asian dog breeds, the Pekingese. The Pekingese was a dog much revered by Buddhist monks in China. This is likely due to their physical resemblance to the imperial guardian or Fu lions, mythical animals in the Buddhist tradition. The dogs were popular with royalty and only nobles were allowed to have the Pekingese. Such was the devotion these dogs enjoyed, they even had human servants to care for them. In 1860, during the Second Opium War, Anglo-French troops looted and burned the Summer Palace in Beijing shortly after the escape of the Chinese Emperor Zhang Feng. Fortunately, before its destruction, they took five Pekingese dogs which lived in the palace. These dogs were taken to England where they were given to nobles and aristocrats. One of them even ended up with Queen Victoria. Those five dogs were the originators of the current Beijing population. Thereafter, in the UK, the breed was standardised and its popularity has not stopped growing since. The Pekingese is a small dog but with a robust musculature and strong bones. Despite their size, they can weigh up to 5 kilos in males and 5.4 kilos in females. The Pekingese dog's head is large compared to their body and they somewhat resemble a lion with a flattened snout and dark eyes. Their ears are heart-shaped and hang down on both sides. They have a double coat with a soft and dense undercoat and straight, long and rough guard hair. According to the FCI standard, practically any colour is accepted for their body and facial mask. This includes patches of different colours, although not liver or albino. The temperament of these dogs is one of their most cherished characteristics, being very loyal and brave despite their small size. However, they are also independent and reserved. They are very loyal to their family, but distrustful of strangers. These dogs are suitable for the elderly or sedentary people. They can also be good for first-time owners. It's true that the Pekingese can be a very calm dog when they reach adulthood and they enjoy lounging. However, as with any dog, they will need daily walks. We recommend three daily walks of about 10 to 20 minutes each. Don't forget to be very careful when walking during hot periods or when you take dogs on a long excursion. Due to their flattened snout and long coat, they are susceptible to heat stroke, so it's essential to carry fresh water with you. It's maybe a good idea to bring a small carrier for them. We recommend daily gentle brushing to remove dead hair, especially during the molting season. This will help reduce the need for bathing, as well as detect parasites, knots and skin problems. The Pekingese can be bathed every 15 to 20 days, but once a month is a good rule of thumb to help maintain their natural protective layer of skin. Before bathing, you'll have to untangle any knots with a special rake type brush. Don't forget to brush them well again when you're drying their hair and use a quality dog shampoo. These dogs can be easily trained to have good behaviour and respond to many obedience commands when using positive reinforcement. It's very important to socialise them as puppies so they can have good relationships with other people, pets and environments. Even so, they are known for not being as sociable as other companion dogs. The use of punishment or denying them sufficient attention can lead to excessive barking, destructive behaviour or even aggressive impulses such as nipping. Before adopting this dog, we need to ensure we are able to provide the right levels of company, affection and education they require. It will be important to stimulate the Pekingese with all kinds of activities and games to improve mental cognition. They'll depend on you for their happiness and to ensure they do not develop the most common behavioural problems such as excessive barking and destructiveness. We can practice with intelligence games at home or teach them tricks. All the time we dedicate to our Pekingese will help strengthen our bond and enrich their day to day. The Pekingese dog, due to its low genetic variety, is susceptible to various hereditary diseases, including some ocular and respiratory diseases such as cataracts, soft palate or progressive renal atrophy. It's for this reason we need to ensure we provide them with regular veterinary checkups every six months, ensuring good health and checking for health issues. If you follow the right care advice and a proper vaccination and deworming schedule, it's possible they will enjoy a healthy life of around 10 to 13 years. Here is our video for today. Share your own Pekingese experiences in the comments and make your requests for more videos. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.